It was really my dad's garden growing up. I have memories of just picking raspberries and sun gold tomatoes from the stem. When you see the bounty and see a fresh tomato or a fresh pepper, how crisp, how juicy, how flavorful, there is nothing like it. I wouldn't say I was a hot sauce obsessed person growing up. I did have a taste for hot sauce, but I wouldn't be blowing my mouth off. And one year, we were growing these uh, golden ghost peppers. There was a farm right by us called Hutchins Farm that had pumpkins coming into season. So we roasted up some pumpkin, some pineapple, some onions, garlic, carrots, and ginger. When I tasted it, I was like, wow, this is unlike anything I tasted before. That just really opened my eyes how flexible and innovative hot sauce can be. My name is Brian Rollman, and I make hot sauce for a living. We're crack sauce, and we're based in Lowell, Massachusetts. Growing up and 10 years ago, I never thought I'd be making hot sauce. I'm not a chef by training. I know great chefs say you gotta simplify, simplify, let those great flavors come out. But I'm all about big flavor, throwing a lot of ingredients your way. It doesn't have to just be peppers and vinegar. All our sauces have 10 to 20 ingredients in them. Three to four different types of chili peppers. We really enjoy kind of having a medley to add more complexity to ultimately add big flavor. Crack is an Irish word that means like good fun and good times. Some of my like favorite memories were of Irish cousins visiting us and just connecting with my Irish roots. So I think it means like kind of welcoming people, taking their energy and adding on to it and having a good time. Doing it for the good crack, for the good fun. The crack crew, they've been so supportive with me when I started this in 2017. We'd be working Monday through Friday and on a weeknight, we'd be cooking on a weekend, we'd be cooking on a weekend, we'd be doing farmer's markets, helping with labeling. My parents, my brother, who actually helped design this logo. Everybody has a shared interest in community, in cooking, in hot sauce or agriculture, but everybody brings their own unique perspectives. Local farmers are what make our product. Farmers markets are a place for entrepreneurs, businesses, farmers, and customers can come there and get inspired. But our favorite part about it is introducing people to our sauces and telling them about different recipes and ways to use this. A lot of times when they're eating food, it's, it's genuine. Whether it's for better or for worse, it's genuine. We had somebody coming from Texas that said, hey, I'm giving you a warning right now. I have had a lot of hot sauces, and he just tasted the first one. He's like, wow, that's, that's pretty good. The fourth one is the golden pumpkin. We always save that one for last, our original sauce. And he was like, wow, this is unlike anything I've tasted before. The crack and the energy we get from those customers, that really fires us up. That's what makes this so special to us and inspires us to keep on going. Take a bite, you're like, oh shit, this is gonna be bad. So I've done it before, but at first you're like, eh, no heat, you just get this taste, then the floral then the first punch. Then about 10 seconds later, this happens with our hot sauce in the back of your mouth. You're like, oh, there's the ghost pepper. And it just keeps on going. Getting a flow of endorphins right now, so. Now it's almost worth it.
but it's a crazy experience eating the ghost pepper. I like the flavor. I don't like to torture myself, but hey, it's for Kraft Hot Sauce, and it's a hell of a community, and there are some crazy people, and it gets me crazier, and I love it because of that.